Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Kapil Joshi and today's video is going to be really informative and helpful for all of you. Now I am going to explain how machine learning actually works and this slide makes it super easy to understand. Even many of you have been asking about this topic. So in today's video, I will explain everything in a simple and easy way. So make sure you watch the video till the end so you don't miss anything important. So let's begin with the basics. Now let's break it down step by step. Step number one data that is the starting point. Everything begins with the data. This data can be anything numbers, images, text, medical reports, stock prices, emails or customer transaction data. So you can imagine data as the fuel that powers machine learning. Step number two, training the machine. Once we have data, we use it to train the machine. Training simply means showing the computer thousands of examples so it can learn pattern on its own. For an example, if we train on stock prices, then it learns market patterns. If we train on email text, then it learns spam patterns. So this is where the real learning happens. Then step number third build the model. It means after training is done, the machine builds something called a model. Things of a model as a smart mathematical brain that knows how to make decisions. So this model is created using different machine learning techniques like regression, classification, clustering, association rules etc so each technique is used for different types of problems now step number four that is predicting the outcomes now the model is trained it can start predicting this is the exciting part for an example predicting stock market prices so segmenting customers in market Identifying disease from medical data, detecting spam emails, recommending products like Amazon and Netflix. So this is how real world machine learning systems work behind the scene each day. So we just summarize in simple words, input data, machine learns patterns, model is built and output prediction. So that's the complete workflow of machine learning in just a simple one slide. Now another slide. So just let's understand the machine learning life cycle. The complete journey of how an ML model is designed, built, trained, deployed and maintained. This life cycle is a repeating loop not a one time process so step number one that is every begins with one question now what just what problem are we trying to solve for an example just predicting the value predicting stock prices Detect disease from images, classify spam emails and forecast sales. So a clear problem statement guides entire project. Step number two, data collection. Once the problem is identified or defined, we gather the required data. Source can include databases, sensors, 
web scrapping, surveys, APIs, medical records, IoT devices, user, uh, user logs, etc. Without good data, ML cannot work. Step number third, data cleaning and pre-processing. Raw data is always messy. So we remove errors, duplicates, missing values, noise and inconsistencies. So generally a task include handling missing values, removing outliers, normalization or we can say standardization, converting text into numerical data. So this step prepares clean data for modeling. Step number four that is exploratory data analysis that is known as EDA. So here we explore the data to understand patterns, trends, correlations, data distributions, anomalies, generally tool used that is matplotlib, seaborn, pandas, power bi etc. So EDA help us know what the data is trying to tell us. Then step number five, feature engineering and selection. Features are the input variables that affect predictions. So we do two things here. First is feature engineering. We create new useful features. Example from data to extract that is known as month and day wise session. Then feature selection. We choose only the most important feature to reduce complexity and improve accuracy. Next step is model selection. Now we decide which algorithm fits the problem. Example regression, just for predicting numbers. Let's say an example again classification for categories, CNN for image processing, RNN LSTM for time series. Random forest for tabular data. Choosing the right model is very crucial. Next is model training. This is where the model actually learns patterns from the data. The data set is split into training and testing data. Model adjusts its internal parameters. Learning happens through optimization. Training builds the intelligence of the model. It's very interesting part. Model evaluation and training. Now we check how well the model performs. It metrics include accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, RMSC or AUC, ROC. Like if performance is poor, we tune hyperparameters or try alternative algorithms. The tuning improves model efficiency. Next is Step number nine, that is model deployment. Once the model meets expectations, we deploy it in the real world. Deploy examples, mobile app, web applications, cloud services, IoT devices, hospital industries and finance system. This is where the model start producing real values. Step number third, sorry, step number 10, that is model monitoring and maintenance. After deployment, we continuously monitor performance. Why? Just because of data changes, user behavior changes, market pattern change. So we check for model draft errors and reduce accuracy. Sometimes we can say system failures. So we retrain or update the model when we need it. Now we conclude this slide. The machine learning life cycle is a continuous loop. It means define, collect, clean, explore, engineer, select, train, evaluate, deploy, monitor, and then repeat. So this ensures the machine learning system stay accurate, relevant, and aligned with real world changes. Our last slide 
of this video. This slide shows four high impact real world applications for just kind of area of machine learning environment, healthcare, finance, e-commerce, and voice assistant. So each transforming everyday services by turning data into intelligent decision. First, we can assume healthcare. What is it? ML help diagnose disease, predict outcomes, personalize treatment, and automate image analysis. So just example for an example, medical image analysis that detect tumors in city, MRI using CNN. Predictive, predictive model that is patient, patient a kind of a risk or some kind of alerts. So drug discovery, it predict molecules activity and accelerate screening. Remote monitoring, anomaly, detection from variable sensor streams. So, common models and methods, we can say convolutional neural networks, CNN for images, time series model that is LSTM for continuous monitoring, random forest that is XGBoost for tabular clinical risk sources, and transfer learning that is the pre-trained medical models, data and matrix, Data diacom images, EHR tables, sensor streams, lab tests, and many more matrices, including sensitivity, recall, critical, specifically AUC, ROC, F1 cleaning utilities, and NT. And some kind of benefits and challenges are what? What about benefits? Faster diagnosis, scalable screening, and personalized care. In terms of challenges, data privacy, label security, bias, explainability required for clinical sectors. So, we just quick all summarizing this slide. This in healthcare, high recall is often more important than raw accuracy. So, missing a disease is very costly. Second is our finance. What is it? Machine learning drives automated decisioning across trending, credit fraud detection, and personalize. Example fraud detection, real time anomaly detection on transaction. Credit scoring, it predicts default risk using customer history. Algorithm trending, that is, model that predicts short term prices moves. Customer analytics, that is churn, prediction, and personalized offer. Common models and methods we can include like gradient boosting, that is XGBoost, light GBM for tabular risk model, unsupervised anomaly detection, that is autoencoders, isolation forest for fraud, reinforcement learning for trading strategies, graph machine learning for link fraud detection and KYC. We can include some data and metrics like data, transaction logs, customer profiles and market feeds. What about metrics? Metrics means precision, fraud, ROC, AUC, KS statistics like in terms of credit financial with the ROI. So what about benefits and challenges? Benefits, it reduces Losses, automate, decision, and personalized services. Challenges, adversarial behavior, regulatory compliances, and model interpolation systems. So, quick major points are a particular fraud detection precision can save millions. So, machine learning models are continuously retained. In our third heading, that is e commerce. What is it? Machine learning power recommendation search, ranking, demands, forecasting, and personalized. So, examples are recommendation system like customer who bought X also bought Y, that is collaborative plus content based. So, dynamic pricing, including real time pricing optimization, demand forecasting, and inventory optimization, visual search, and product tagging using CNN. And common models and methods are 
that is mat matrix factorization and embedding including item user vectors deep learning for ranking that is for transformers for text time series model that is uh, lstm for forecasting ab testing plus bedded algorithm for personalization so what about data and matrix data that is click stream purchase history and product attributes with some kind of reviews so matrix ctr conversion rate average order value revenue uplift and we just say the benefits and challenges benefits are higher conversion better ux optimization inventory challenges challenges means cold start privacy balancing personalization versus filter bubbles this is the comparison between these two so quick taking some points over this uh, topic that is a smart recommender increases average order value and customer retention that's why e-commerce invest heavily in machine learning and last heading is voice assistant what is it speech interfaces that understand user request convert speech to text and act or respond so examples are smart speakers that is alexa google assistant voice enabled search and voice commerce automated customer services boots using speech that is known as nlp natural language processing so generally models and methods what about it automatic speech recognition that is asr peep rnn cnn transformer based asr models natural language understanding nlu intent classification and entity extraction that is transformer text to speech tts natural vocoders wavenet and tacotron data and matrices are data like audio corpus transcript dialogs and intent labels so matrix what about matrix matrix means word error rate that is wer intent accuracy latency and user satisfaction so what about be benefits and challenges so benefits are just hands free interaction accessibility and faster task challenges noisy environment and privacy of voice data latency so quick taking points over this topic that is modern voice assistant combined asr nlu and dialog management but real success lies in robust understanding across accent and context so cross cutting considerable that is some kind of data quality so all four domains need cluttered cleaned and labeled data so ethics and fairness that is bias and transparency are very essential and especially in healthcare and finance so real time versus batch it means the finance and voice assistants often need real time inference healthcare may need high accuracy over latency so continuous monitoring retraining versioning and governance are required to keep model effective in production so finally in one line that is machine learning is the engine data is the fuel and carefully model design evaluation and monitoring are the tools that turn smart ideas into useful trustworthy product across healthcare finance e-commerce and voice so that's all from today's video i hope you found it very helpful so if you are enjoying the video please hit the like button so don't, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates so comment below if you have any question or suggestion thanks for watching